Welcome to Photoshop. Uh, we'll be going through the basics today of Photoshop. So the first thing you need to do is download and then run Photoshop. The first thing you'll be presented with is this splash screen. The first option you need to do is select the Create New button. When you select the Create New button, you'll be presented with several options. Photoshop is not only designed for web, it's also designed for photo and print and film. So the options that we want to select today are from the web menu. So if you go up to the top ribbon, ribbon sorry, and select web, you'll be presented with the common default sizes of most common displays and resolutions. So the one we want to be using today is web large, um, which is the 1920 times 1080. If your display is smaller on your laptop, feel free to select a smaller resolution that, that meets your needs. First thing you want to do is we want to rename this. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename it to my first meme, just so if I create several of these, it makes sense when I look at it later on. The rest of the options are not so important. Um, you've got different ways you can do, deal with the resolution, different color options. We're not going to go through those today because this is a basics video. So once you've put in the name of your first Photoshop meme, select the Create button. Then you'll be presented with the main screen of Photoshop. The first thing is we'll break down the interface. We have the canvas, which is the general area which we'll be editing our photos on. On the side here, we have our main color menu. So you can see here that we have a very wide range of colors. Photoshop is designed for color accuracy. So you can see there's a very large spectrum of colors. We also have the layers, which we'll be looking at very shortly. And then we have the common editing tools on the left-hand side here, which we'll look at throughout the course. The first thing, and also one of the things you can do, is you can actually hover over each of the tools and it will give you a nice little video snippet of what that tool does. So first thing first is we want to change the background layer. Okay, At the moment, we uh, have a black background. Inside the file, I have presented you with several different templates for common memes. Feel free to download your own meme template, but also you can use one of mine if you would like. So today we're going to be using the Laughing Tom Cruise template. Now because of this template, a white background doesn't look so good. So we're going to change our background to black. So if we go back to Photoshop, there's several ways that you can do anything in Photoshop. So use the way that you feel most comfortable with. The easiest way to show someone that's never used Photoshop before is to go to Layer, which is in the top menu. Then select New Fill Layer. Then you have several different options on how you can select your fill. Feel free to play around these at your leisure. However, we're going to use a solid color. And then you give it a, a name. So please make sure you name everything because if you leave everything as a default name and you, and you need to open up this file at a later date, having new backgrounds of layer one, two, three, it's not going to really mean much to you. So I've named mine background. Um, don't worry about the options here. We press OK. And then you've got many different colors. So you could change your background to blue, yellow, whatever you want. You can also see here we can change it by RGB and also the hex uh, decimal uh, value. But we're just going to leave it as black. So you select black in the bottom left-hand corner and you press OK. So what we have now is we have a new layer called background, which is black. Now the way things work in Photoshop is things work in layers. So um, an Adobe presenter once told me that Photoshop was like an onion peel. What you see on the outside is what you see as a final product, but behind each of those layers are the many different photos and editing tools that they've used along the way. So every time we put something new in a Photoshop document, it should always go on a new layer. So we want to add our Tom Cruise laughing meme. So the first thing we want to do is add a new layer. So the easiest way to do that is to select layer at the top, then new, and then layer. Now, as I said before, you always want to name these because if you have 10 layers and a named layer 1 to 10, it doesn't really mean much. So we're going to call this Tom Cruise laughing meme. Or photo, maybe, better. Tom Cruise wrong. And once you've done that, you select the OK button. And you can see down the bottom here that I have now two layers. There's a few things you can do. You can turn them on and off too, if you would like to, for the fact that sometimes it's hard to see what's going on. But the idea of the layers, the way it works is the bottom layer 
is the most back of the document and the front layer, the top layer, is the most forward of the document. Now, that's not going to matter so much today, but if you have a complex photo doc, Photoshop document where you have multiple um, masks and layers, you might want to consider this, but we won't go through this today. So what we need to do now is we need to download the Photoshop or that we need to import the photo. So the way we do that is uh, these ways to actually get the photo up on the screen. I'm going to then just drag it into Photoshop. So I select this. That's because that my photo is only 600 and something pixels wide when my canvas is 1980. So you can resize your canvas size for the image menu, but the easiest way to do a resize is just to drag the handles of the image like so. Just resize it wherever you want it. And then roughly, I'm happy with where it is. And then what you do next is we can then create another layer to put our text on. So then what we do is we go to layer, new layer. Then we're going to call this one uh, mean text. And then what you want to do is you want to select the horizontal type tool. Place the cursor where you want to start writing. So I'll just do it here. You'll see the default is lorem ipsum, which is just Latin for, I don't know, just something. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the color to being contrasting. So we are going to select white, which is in the top left hand corner. Press OK. Now there are many options here. Um, remember, Photoshop is about color accuracy. So we're not going to go through that today. So press OK. And then we have white font. So as I said before, um, or maybe not said before, there are three different types of common um, meme font. We've got Arial, Impact, and Comic Sans. We're going to be using Impact today because it sort of you know it's easy to see. But feel free to play around with them. You can use whatever font you want. But there are three that I think are most common for a meme. Then what we do is we're going to just write down a meme about gamers and self-isolation. So I'll just write something down. Now there's no word wrap, so you have to do it manually. Okay, so we just have a very simple meme here. Um, you can type in whatever you want. Uh, and then once you're happy with that, what you do is you can then save it. The easiest way to save it is you go File, Save As. There are different uh, file formats you can use here. Okay, each has their advantages and disadvantages. I suggest using PNG for anything web. It's just a, a good format for transparency and so on. So select that. Then make sure you download it somewhere that you can um, sort of see it. The default name is going to be the name of your Photoshop, so you, uh, Photoshop file, so you can change that if you would like. If you're happy with that, you press save. And then I would just leave the default option of large file size. Press OK. Okay, and then what happens is if I go to my downloads folder, you should have your first meme.